Greetings fellow YouTubers, this is the Budget Armory Channel with yet another exciting video for your viewing pleasure. I've had a numerous, uh, or a large number of requests for me to show you how to reload 223. Uh, I do have a series of reloading videos on handgun ammunition, but rifle ammunition is a little bit different. Uh, so I'm going to go through uh, the steps. I'll probably uh, condense some of the stuff uh, that was covered in my other videos on reloading, but let's get started. First of all, one of the main differences is that of course you have to resize your brass just like in handguns but they don't have there's no such thing as a carbide resizing rifle die so you have to use case lube you have to lubricate the cases or they might get stuck in the dies and uh, there's a very simple way to do that okay other than the lube the only other tool you need and the brass is a ziploc plastic bag what you do i'll probably do about five pieces of brass at a time or so, just stick them in the bag, take a case lube, put a few squirts in there, and just kind of make sure you coat the cases. You don't have to have a really thick layer of lube. In fact, this is probably more than I need, so what I'll do, end up doing is that I'll end up just keep putting cases in here until the lube just finally gives out. And of course, you just go through the resizing process. And of course, it also decaps the case as well. So you notice, even though the cases are lubed, there is some effort to resize them. So it's not, it's not like just, you know, sliding through, you know, real easily or anything like that. Oops. Just like in the hand game, we just keep slushing through. Oops. And really you just keep sticking the cases in here until the, the bag itself, I guess, gets depleted of lube. You just keep coating and sizing. This is going to be boring, so I'm going to go ahead and fast forward all this because... It's not really that exciting to watch somebody just resizing and decapping brass. Okay, I'm resizing the final five here. Okay, I've resized and decapped 50 pieces of brass. Now, one thing I do want to point out, I can't really show you, is that if you do get a piece of brass stuck in the die, uh, there is a, an easy way to get it out. Let me see if I can show you from the top here. Okay, if you look at the top of the die, you have that little, that little pin. If you loosen this nut right here, this retaining bolt or whatever it's called, and you take a, I think it's a, a 1 32nd size punch. Uh, you loosen this so then the, uh, the pin will actually move. And you just take a hammer and then your punch. And then drive the brass out of the die. And uh, it'll knock it out. And then of course you just uh, reset your brass. Uh, reset your, actually your stem, your decapping stem. So uh, that's just uh, a little FYI. So if, if you forget to lube a case or something like that. And the, uh, the brass gets stuck in the die. The, that's the only way to get it out. And if for some reason your decapping stem breaks... Yeah, sorry about that. My camera died for a second. But uh, yeah, if, if your die gets... Or if your uh, brass gets stuck in the die, you can't get it out. That's when you send it back to the factory. In this case, I'm using Lead Deluxe uh, reloading dies for a 223. Okay, as you can see, the primer pockets are dirty. And I could go through the same uh, technique of cleaning out the primer pockets that I did with uh, my handgun brass. Just take a little screwdriver and just uh, kind of clean out the primer pockets that way. Uh, it works great, but uh, what I'm going to do, somebody had asked about if I could just, uh, after I decap and resize, if I could tumble them in the brass tumbler if that would clean out the primer pockets. You know, I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and give it a whirl. I've already polished these once uh, before I resize them because I didn't want to resize dirty brass, but let's go ahead and uh, give them a wash. It'll be a couple hours, so uh, I won't show you the whole process or anything like that because that's boring. 
But uh, hopefully when we come back, we'll have clean primer pockets.